Resampling. What is it? Why would we want to do that? Why are people always talking about it? And how do we do it in Reaper? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Reaper blog. Today we're talking about resampling, and it's not this kind of resampling right here. It's the other kind of resampling. But in this video, we're talking about taking the output of a sound that we've manipulated. Let's say we take a sampler and we add a bunch of effects to it. We play it, it sounds really cool, but then we want to take that sound and put it into another sampler. So that's resampling. And it's actually really easy to do and it's a really fun way of working. So to do this, we're going to need three tracks, one for our sound source, one for capturing our sound source after effects, and a third track for our new sampler. I'm going to go to insert virtual instrument on a track. My effects browser opens up and we see the list of plugins. I mean, it doesn't really matter what we're using here, but I'm going to grab um, PGX8. My effects browser is still open, so I can grab another effect. Uh, I'm going to grab Resamplematic 5000, so that's track three. And I need another regular track, and I'm going to just double click in the empty area of the TCP. I'm going to put this one in between. So PGX8 is our sound source. This is our resample track. Resamplematic 5000 is our final destination for this. So I'm going to disarm the third track. I'm going to hide it because we don't need it right now. In this track, what we're going to do is just come up with some interesting sounds. Bear with me, this will take a couple minutes. All right, so we want like a deeper sound. Okay, that's cool. Add some chorus. There's the overall level right there. Okay, so now let's add in some other effects to just kind of uh, make it sound crazy, I guess. And for this, you can use anything. So I'm going to use the Air Lo-Fi plugin. So I'm going to grab the big chorus. Sure, that'll work. I'm going to go in back to here and see if I can add some more movement and stuff to it with the LFO. So LFO rate, we want this really fast. And then apply that to the filter, which means applying this. This could be anything. You might already have a sound already worked out. So it's a lot easier <laughs> just than to make something up on the spot. But let's say we're, this is what we're going to do. Okay, so we're done with effects for now. We've got our track and it's got this sound. Now we need to record it. Uh, we're going to keep this track record enabled so we can record MIDI if we need it, but probably won't. We need to make a send from this track to this track. And for me, the easiest way to do that is to grab the routing button and drag and drop. So that's a left click and drag onto the resample track. And we're just going to double click this to make sure that it's at uh, unity gain. The next thing we need to do so that we're not hearing the sound doubled is to option click on the routing button for the first track. So that's disabling the master send. So we're not hearing it out of this track. We're going to hear it on this track. But before we do that, we need to 
set this to record output. So I'm right clicking the record enable button on that track. I'm going to record output stereo. Let's hear that. So now we're not hearing it from this track, we're hearing it from this track. All right, so we're just gonna hit record. So we're just going to take kind of like random settings. It could be anything really that we change here. We've got our MIDI, which we don't even need, and we've got our stereo output from this track. We need to mute the first track so that we're not hearing it. It's not sending out of here again, right? So now we've got a recording and we have some interesting bits of sound that we can manipulate further if we want, uh, but we're going to just load it up into Resample-Matic 5000 now. So this is inserted as a virtual instrument track. We can get this entire recording into the sampler by clicking import item from a range. But now it's just going to play start to end with all the gaps and everything. So we're going to get all the sounds and that's not what we want to do at all. So instead, uh, what we can do is chop this up into usable bits. Let's take that. Just gonna split this up like that, and then I'm gonna import that from the range view. And now we have just a segment of this longer recording. And when I hit a key on the keyboard, uh, when we record enable this, it's playing that section of the long recording through the sampler. So we're hearing Resample-Matic 5000 playing that sound when I hit a key. And no matter which key I press, it's always going to be the same until we click this and go to note semitone shifted. Now when I play a key, it's going to drop it down to scale it across the keyboard. Which alone is kind of cool. We've taken a, a recorded sound and we've kind of created a sampler out of that. We can go up and down the keyboard as we want. The real fun for me is going to obey note offs and loop and add a bit of a crossfade. Now when we hold down a key, it's going to start looping that recording. And we can do fun things like changing the pitch offset. Another thing I like to do is change the resample mode. So it's on project default, but for this effect, I want kind of like a dirty, crappy sound, so I want to go with the lowest quality sampling. It adds in a little bit of a fuzz. I think that's a good example of that. So go back to Project Default. Right, pretty dark sounding. If we go to lowest. It adds in something that's kind of bad sounding, but also kind of good sounding at the same time. Another thing we can do that's pretty cool is changing the pitch bend range. So I'm going to set this to 12 semitones. And we can also play up really, really high. We can change our loop points. Right, and that's pretty cool. We can also grab in more effects on this now. And you can do some really cool things with Tremulator on this.
So that was only one sound from this long recording. We can grab anything using the same process. So let's find another interesting sound. Yeah, let's take that, split that, and then import from arrange. So you can do lots of cool things that you can't really do with MIDI on the original sound. You can really manipulate this in a lot of different ways. Another way to get audio into the sampler is by drag and drop. So I'm going to grab this section here, which sounds like this. And I'm going to stretch it out by alt dragging. Right, kind of weird. Now I'm going to command option drag this into Resample-Matic. Reaper's going to render that as a new file, bring it into Resample-Matic, and then it's going to be mapped across the keys again. Let's reset the pitch. And here we go. So there you go. That's resampling and how you do it in Reaper. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.